This water heating element turned out to be only one-fifth of what I paid for. Why does it matter? And how can we test for this before we put it into service? Here we go. Hi, I'm David. Welcome to my channel where I like to DIY renewable energy and energy efficiency projects. Now I bought a pair of these electric water heating elements for some upcoming projects that I want to do and share with you guys on camera. They are advertised as 12 volt, 800 watts, and they were sold by Hurricane Wind Power Com. I was specifically looking for something with the lowest resistance so that I could send the most current through this at 12 volts for some upcoming videos that I wanted to test several different things on. These are actually two separate elements inside one fitting and they're wired in parallel using these brass bars between them. Plug in 12 volts, 800 watts to an Ohm's law calculator. Uh, it's gonna tell you that the resistance of this element, the total resistance, should be 0 0.18 ohms. So immediately when I received the package with both of these, I took it out of the package and I checked it with my multimeter. All right, so we have the water heating element in the vise and I've got the multimeter probes one on each of those brass bars. And you can see we have 1.1 ohms. So that 1.2, yeah. So that is not the 0 0.18 ohms that I was expecting to receive. I wanted to make sure that uh, there wasn't something else wrong. I wanted to make sure that maybe my multimeter wasn't broken or I was reading the ohms wrong or maybe I was just doing math wrong altogether. So I did hook it up to this bucket and the battery, and let's go ahead and see what our actual wattage is. Remember, this was advertised as 800 watts. So here's our bucket of water with the element inside, and we're hooked up to our, our meter and a pair of powerful 12 volt batteries. So let's go ahead and turn this on. You can see 150 watts. So that is only one fifth of what we should be getting. And we can even verify that with the amps setting here. 12.4, now we should be at 66 amps or 67 amps, and we're not there, we're not close. So unfortunately this is only drawing one fifth of the total power that it should be drawing. Now in this test, the battery is over 12 volts, so we should be drawing even more, but we weren't there. Since this is drawing 150 watts, it will eventually heat the bucket. It will take five times longer. Now that's five times longer if there's no losses out of the bucket of water, but it will be losing its heat to the surrounding space. So it will take even longer depending on how well your tank is insulated. Now, I don't wanna speculate what happened, but I didn't receive the product that I ordered, so I will be returning both of the heating elements. It's been running now for about 10 minutes and we're a little bit lower in the total wattage. Uh, just wanted to let the element get a chance to heat up. So the circuit breaker on here is off, so we're not drawing anything. And you can see we are at 1.1 ohms. So again, both elements are identical between this one and the one over here in the vise. So water heating elements and space heaters, they're not gonna be listed in ohms. You're not gonna find out what the ohms rating is. So you just have to do the math. They're usually listed in voltage and wattage. So in this case, R equals V over I. Now what that means is the resistance, the ohms, equals the voltage over the amps that you should be drawing. Now to get the amps, you are going to divide the wattage by the volts. So the way this looks in my situation is 12 volts over 800 divided by 12 equals 0 0.18 for the ohms. And that's what I should have been testing when these came out of the box. Now, as soon as I realized that these were not the correct element, uh, I reached out to Hurricane Wind Power through their eBay store. I sent them an email and they got back to me uh, this week, which, you know, I mean, there was a weekend in between, but they did get back to me. Uh, there was no argument, simply he apologized and said that this particular element, the 12 volt 800 watt was a brand new version that they had just gotten in. Uh, it wasn't up on their website yet. It was just up on their eBay store. So I guess I'm one of the first people to try it. So he apologized, gave me a full refund. I'm gonna return it, 
going to return both of these elements and I've already placed an order with the same company for two of the 600 watt elements because he told me those uh, they've had for a longer period of time, they've tested them, they know that those are working as advertised. So I like to give companies a second chance. It's important to remember that if it's not for these types of little companies bringing these oddball items to market, how else are we gonna get them? So I don't wanna be on here just putting down companies for one mistake. You know, it's, uh, let's, let's give them all a fair shake. So when the next ones come in at 600 watts, hopefully they work as advertised. And if they do, you're gonna start seeing them on the bench. I want a peer resistive load for some of this bench testing. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share.